Okay, these are two rebates cut. Now we'll start to put the moulding in. And what I want to do with this is have an overlapping sort of a way formation. So I want it high at the back and then cutting way here, cutting way here, cutting way here, cutting way here, and then I'll put a mitre right on this corner. Now with this, I want the curve to be going uphill. So instead of starting at the back here, like I did with the previous one, I'm actually gonna turn the plane this way, which will take from here back. I don't want to flatten the plane totally from this angle to this. I want to keep it or well, within that range, about a five degree range. Now, once I've done that one, move on to the next one. Same, same. Put it in there, follow it back. Careful there, we just jumped out the track. There we go. thing I love about moulding planes and rebate planes, round hollows, whatever, you can go at your own pace. I did a lot of routering during the week and believe me, I just wanted to get back to using these. Oh, so much quieter and obedient. If you go a little bit wonky to it, it really doesn't matter. It'll just all add to the charm. Now I'm into the third groove, which is the third one. As you can see, that wasn't deep enough and it actually ran off. So I'm gonna to have to manually steer this for the first couple of times. If you do have um, snipe bills, this is an ideal opportunity for snipe bills, but I promise this would be one plane and that's all we're gonna use. And on this edge one, I'm just by eye, I'm just gonna put a chamfer on it and I'm using my fingers underneath the plane like that to act as a fence. And also this finger here, I can put into this groove here. So I've actually got two points of reference. You only have to do a couple and then it'll find its own, own level. Just starting to now. that one. Next one, exactly the same thing. When you do it, start off slowly, and once you get depth, then you can go a bit faster. Let's get this one up here, see how close we're looking. That's pretty close. 
Okay. So I don't get into trouble using mallet. That's those. Put them, put them away. Finish with a sticking board. So I'll put that there. And to give you an idea of how much mess I've made so far. So as you can tell, not that much of a mess. And you also saw them on rubber mats and I've got a piece of canvas or a painter's drop sheet underneath that with a vinyl membrane in between and then the other part of the drop sheet underneath that. So anything that drops here won't go through to the carpet and all those shavings, what I don't pick up by hand, I don't know if you saw the little bit yellow vacuum cleaner, that'll pick it up. Now we'll get on to cut the mitres.